Hi guys, welcome to my Scotch 2's video. This is Robin, and we're getting ready to do Saturday Yay Dollar Day Sale. And uh, this is number three, the third one I've had. And um, if you want anything in this video, you need to comment under the comment section of the video, the timestamp and description. You don't have to put a price because everything's a dollar. And if you've not emailed me before, please email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com before you start claiming items. I'll give you a few seconds to get a screenshot of that. And I, these are the three things I need. Your full name, your YouTube name, so I can connect the two in case they're different, and your shipping address. We invoice at the first of the month. All orders in July will be invoiced August the 1st. And um, once you pay, the item will be cleaned and shipped out, except for the $1 items I don't clean and the Hobby Lots I don't clean. So what I, I'm not going to clean, I will tell you, um, you know. But this is a dollar item, so you know they're coming as is. And most of them are in good shape, so it's you just need to wipe them down some. Grab yourself something nice to drink. I'm going to have coffee this morning. It's a, It started out rainy and stormy this morning, and now the sun's out, so I don't know. The kids were supposed to come over for a pool party, and we've decided to postpone it till tomorrow. And that will give me some time to uh, get the pool cleaned out and stuff, too. So, um, let's get started. Okay, I had to stop a second. Uh, hubby's on his way out the door. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to start out with is this little angel pen. Very cute. That's a dollar. Let's see, what can I put this in? Mm-mm-mm. Here we go. There we go. Okay. The next, I'm going to do um, these little bracelets here. You got the little heart. And these are Shambhala types. That is a tied one. This is adorable with the little elephant. He's very um, dimensional. Look at that. I mean, you can even see his little his trunk is down, though. Very cool. And then here's a Pure Vita bracelet. We'll do all of those for a dollar. I need to put those in a bag so I know that all of those went together for a dollar. We have a little check Chico's necklace. Chico's. Chico's. Heart. On a cord. That's a dollar. A nice pendant. Good condition. That's a dollar. We'll do these two bracelets for a dollar. You have the chevron and then this real pretty um, enameled white and gold a dollar I gotta find a bag for them I sell more than one item I have to find a bag I'll make sure you get everything I'm going to do these three bracelets together. You have a chain for charms, a little stretchy uh, silver tone, and then this one hooks like that, and it says Survivor, and it's got the little um, oh ribbon. Oh, let's see. There you go, Survivor. Do those for a dollar. So I hope everybody's having a good day. I love doing these Saturdays. I think they're fun. 
Now these are adorable. And we're going to do them for a dollar. They're mop and laid pearl fish post earrings. A dollar. We have this. And I'm not sure what it's made of. I think it's bone. But I'm not sure. And nice cord. Nice long cord. And it is adjustable. That's a dollar. We have this pretty wire necklace. With some nice beads on it. I love this one in particular. It could be straightened out some. It's wire. You can straighten that out. Beautiful beads on it. I see the moon glow beads like that. There's several of those. These are uh, hematite, I believe. And uh, then you have these beads here are acrylic. These also, I believe they're acrylic. And, but I love the Moon Glow beads and the hematite and then that glitter ball right here. That's a dollar and it's got nice findings on it. So if you wanted to take the beads off and use the findings and make another type necklace, you could. We're going to do these two bracelets. For, this has some kind of Chinese writing on it. And these have the little leaf and wood bead dangles, like a cha-cha. Doesn't make as much noise, but that's what it's like. That's a dollar. Let me find a bag for that. I'm just using old bags, and they'll have prices on them. That doesn't mean that was the price of the item. So, just, I try to make use of my bags. That's a dollar. I have a pearl necklace. And it's got a little um, dangle piece right there. And it's nice and long. I would say it is. It's 34 inches long. Very pretty. Rice, um, rice pearl beads and round beads. Round pearl, faux pearl. We have a stone necklace with a lobster claw clasp and an extender. Hmm. Let's see on that. Do we have silver on that? We absolutely do. So here's the find of the day. It's got 925 on the clasp. So that's worth a dollar there. Plus you get this beautiful stone pendant. Well, that's nice. Then we have this braided bead and the gold and gray color. More like a bronzy and gray color. That's a dollar. We're going to do all these earrings right here. They're really nice acrylic earrings, and you have two of each of the colors. We're going to do those for a dollar. I need a bag for those. They're very nice, and let's see. I wonder how long they are. Just the teardrop itself is two and a quarter inches. Very pretty colors. Oh, these are those bags that don't close well, too. Oh, there we go. I got that one going. It's a miracle. Alright, we have these glass earrings. They're lever backs. I love them. Beautiful blue. We'll do those for a dollar. I better put them in a bag. I may never find them. Because I plan to do a lot today. A lot. As much as I can. 
because I really need to get jewelry out of this house. Here's a whole bag of um, pierced button earrings. And those are a circle with the, and these are different. And these are different. They're wood with the gold. But you got a lot of button pierced in here too. We're going to do this whole bag for a dollar. Isn't that cool? A whole bag of earrings for a dollar. Now, I've got these three pair here. And this is stone, magnesite. It's got the brown veining. And the... These are acrylic, and these are little glass beads, and they're all wires, and this whole set is a dollar. That's pretty cool, huh? There's actually something new I haven't even shown, but I went ahead and put it in the dollar. Dollar bin. Okay, let's see. I gotta get some more. Okay, I load it up again. So let's get started. This is gonna be a dollar. Where there is love, there is life. And it's got the purple. Um, those app Fitbits. Don't start that again. Of course it's going to start that when I'm trying to do a video. So there you go. That's nice for a dollar. We have this uh, dangle bracelet here. It's a larger size and it does adjust. I'm going to add this to it. It's also a larger size, and it's a Shambhala type. You could probably wear this around your ankle, too. You see how big it can get? So those two are a dollar. And I need to find a bag for them that will fit. There we go. So what's new? Let's see. Did I tell you about the bug night um, where I was talking on the phone to my sister? And, uh, I heard this buzzing sound. I mean, like a motor sound buzzing. It got louder and louder, came coming closer to me. And I looked up, and this big old black thing was flying around the room. It scared me to death. I jumped from the phone. I left it on the table, screaming. Daryl was upstairs asleep. He didn't, he didn't even budge. Aren't those cute for a dollar? Little fish earrings on both sides. And, uh, nope, he didn't budge. And my sister was on the other end of the phone thinking somebody had broken to the house because it was later at night. And, uh, I ran upstairs, woke Daryl up. I had to shake him hard to get him up. Jeez. And, uh, here we go. That's a little hair barrette, a dollar. I told him I want, there was something flying around downstairs. I don't know what it was, but it's huge and it's buzzing. Now, this is beautiful. It's actually got real pearls in it here. There. And glass. And these beautiful um, fern leaf charms on it. I love this. Nice toggle. That's a dollar. And he came down, and I saw it. It was sitting on one of my, um, it was sitting at my craft desk, which is where I had been talking to my sister. And dollar, you know, make sure you get the timestamp. And uh, I told Daryl, I said, don't kill it. It's so unusual. It was a great big old black beetle with those pinchers that had the wings. I mean, it was beautiful animal and he was just kind of so he grabbed the piece of paper it was on didn't grab it. he gingerly picked it up 
and headed for the front door, and I headed with him to open the door for him and the screen door, and we got him outside. And uh, this is silicone, very pretty color. Needs battery. Dollar. Everything's a dollar. And, uh, we, uh, we managed to get him out. I'm going to do a little set here. You've got these. One of them has a little round disc on it. These little beads that are strung together. These are old, by the way. And this ring. I'm going to put the three together. And so we'll do this set for a dollar here. And he, we managed to get it out the front door. And uh, that was... I got back on the phone and my sister was greatly relieved. She could hear all the commotion going on. <laughs> and I was trying to yell to her I was okay, but there was something in the house and I had to get it out. But, um, never a dull moment. Poor Daryl. Had to wake him out of a dead sleep. But I, I just can't handle it, you know. I'm a girl. All girl. I don't want you to kill it, but I want you to get it outside where it belongs. Aren't these beautiful? They look like the sunset. Nice and thick. Just gorgeous. And, uh, so that was that story. And a couple of days later, I saw that big black thing flying across the yard. So I guess he survived the night and made it on. Here's a tassel necklace. I mean, earrings. Duh. Those are uh, silky. And here's some more silky ones. These are very pretty, these two. I'm going to put them together for a dollar. And they're very long. Probably four, four inches or five. The tassels are in good shape. So that was that bug story. I might have told you this story before, but boy, that was an exciting night. And, uh, told you about the earthquake we had a couple of days ago. It did rock the house a little bit. But it was only a 2.5, but it was just down the street where Walmart is. Here's the back. And what else has been going on? Hmm. I've been going to physical therapy. That's been a challenge for me. I've come on achy breaky every time. I'm so out of shape, I guess. Now, I almost saved this for my Halloween jar. I'm doing a little Halloween jar for August. So y'all look forward to that. But I didn't. I left this one out. Because it looks like the Monster Mash to me. I don't know. What do you think? That looks like Frankie up there. Frankenstein. But anyway, that's a dollar. That's a beautiful pendant. Triple cord. Very good condition. All is a dollar. You just have to claim it under the comment section. And you have to email me your name, your YouTube name, and your shipping address at myskywatch2 at gmail.com if you want to claim an item. Isn't this beautiful? Beautiful gold on this. It's an older necklace. necklace. You got your spring ring class. The gold on this is outstanding. That's just pure beauty. Looks like gold, rich gold. Let's do these. 
These have blister pearls on them coming out. They're wire wrap. They're very pretty. We'll do those for a dollar. Let me get a bag. The next two I'm going to put together. For a dollar. You have these carved. Beautifully carved. That's the fronts. And then the little chips. And if you bought any chip necklaces, those cute little earrings to go with it. Let's see, we got some more down here. Oh, these have blister pearls too, but they're not um not wired. Let's go ahead and put these with this. We'll do that one for a dollar. Oh, isn't that pretty the way that is? A little bit of a blister pearl coming up there. Put those in a bag. So I hope you guys are enjoying these Dollar Day Saturday sales. Let me know. And uh, I'll keep doing them. Because I have plenty of jewelry to put in them. This is so cute. I just love this angel. Little angel in thought with rhinestones all around. It's got a copper look here. Silver tone look in the back. It's on a beaded chain with the lobster claw clasp and extender. This is pretty. Acrylic with a glass fasted piece and a key. And green. Beautiful green. Now you can see how beautiful that is. And the chain is absolutely beautiful. Now the lobster claw class looks a little silver to me. So it may have been changed out, but the chain is beautiful. This is a silver one with double lobster claws. And you've got the little uh, faceted sparkly silver balls. And then a polished um, rice shape. Larger rice shape bead. Double layer. We have these earrings here. Silver, silver metal, even the beads, like that. Chandelier, very pretty chandelier earrings, even the silver bead up here at the ear. See that? We'll do those for a dollar. Let me put those in a bag. have some little post earrings all pearl there and then I have these I'm going to put in with it those are a dollar so let me put that in there and remember what I told people who uh, work with jewelry and need to replace pearls and they want one without the hole on both sides this is a good place to harvest those even these beads. Any kind like that. That would really help you out in repairing the pieces. We have this one. This is an enameled. On a really pretty pink leather cord. It's got a bead on the extender. Lobster claw class. And I'm going to put this awareness. Hope, awareness and hope. I don't know if this is a hair thing or a wrist, but those two will go together. And then we'll also put this with it, Dream Big. Very nice. So we'll do all those for a dollar. Get them in the bag. 
That's also got lobster claw. I love that green bag too. And I love this hope and awareness. Well, I love it all. I really love jewelry. I like expensive jewelry, really, really, really high end, fine jewelry. And I like costume jewelry, and I like high end jewelry, costume jewelry. And I like the everyday jewelry, and I like the very natural jewelry, and the blingy jewelry. So I'm very eclectic in what I like um, as far as jewelry goes. And I'll mix them. I'll do these two enameled. One is large, one is smaller. Earrings. There's the back of those. There's the back of these. There's the front again. Do those for a dollar. I saw a thing on, uh, I pinned it on my Pinterest board about 12 different types of toast you can make. It looked like it'd be good for the morning. I don't know what I'm called under Pinterest. When I opened all those accounts, I put different names on all of them. Not thinking one day I'd be doing this and it'd be easier for people to identify me under one name. It's too difficult to change it. But I actually keep recipes under there that I try and I really, really like. And Daryl asked me to do it again. And the kids love it. I put those recipes uh, under tried and keeper recipes on my... Um, under that. And uh, my daughter-in-law the other day asked me for the cowboy caviar recipe. And so I had it right there. This is glass here, and then you have pearl. These right here fluoresce, but I don't think they're pearl. I don't know what they are. I don't know what this one is either. Pretty toggle clasp. Dollar. Try to hold them up there for a second so you can get a timestamp. This is pretty. We got cube beads, very pretty, marbled light with a little gold flex in them. And these, yeah, that feels like glass. It's cold. Crackle beads, gunmetal. It has a mark of looks like a New York. Yep, New York. Pretty necklace. We yeah, have this one. I think it's very pretty with the mother of pearl and the hammered disc. Look at that. Lobster claw clasp, chain in good condition. Here's another pretty one. Look at that. Glass beads. Silver tone. Lobster claw clasp. Okay. That's another one. Red, black, and silver. It is a Jules. Jules B, I think. Very pretty. Those feel like glass. Now these don't. The red don't. And look at these. I love these textured pieces here. I 
It's a dollar. It's nice and long, too. <clears throat> Here I go again with my throat. Lord have mercy. Forgive me for clearing my throat all the time. That's just that time of year that I kind of fight with that. That's a dollar. Beautiful beads on this. They feel cold. Rollo chain. Spring ring class. Oh, it's marked. It's an Avon piece. A dollar. These are two different necklaces. They are um, magnetic, very strong magnetic. They cling to each other well. Pretty bronzy pearl and uh, rhinestone rondelles. Nice velvety cord. Very pretty. I better put those in a bag. They're going to stick to everything. You get both of them for a dollar. Very pretty little bling necklace. Very sparkly. Lobster claw clasp. Here's the back of it. And then this little blingy necklace. Little star. White. Enameled. There's the back. This is in very good condition. And I'm going to put these two necklaces too, especially if you have little girls. I'm going to play with that. The shell uh, barrel class necklace. And the little flower necklace. It's got lobster claw glass. We'll do all those for a dollar. Let me put them all in a bag together. This necklace back here. It's a Y necklace and it's mixed metal of, of copper, gold, and silver. And there's the Y part, and the bottom part has a little fringe on the end. So that's the way it goes. Nice long Y. Lobster claw class extender with the bead. It's a dollar. Glass bead and wood. And we'll put these little fringy pieces. I wonder if you could hook that to that. Make a little dangle. Or take it down here and dangle it down there. I don't know. But these are good for uh, mixing with other pieces. And we'll do that for a dollar. Let me put them in the same bag. This here is uh, copper wire, a wooden bead, glass beads. It's uh, pretty stiff. You can, you know, make it bracelets the same way. We'll do that for a dollar. 
In other words, you can mold it to fit the way you want it to fit. That's what I'm trying to say. Have some hoops here. Two pair. This has got little pearls and a bow, large hoops. And then these are gunmetal in color. They're what? One, one, maybe one and a quarter, one and a half. Where's my ruler? Oh. Let's see. Yeah, one and a quarter inch hoops. And these are. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Those are a dollar. These in here. pretty long bar earrings for a dollar they look brand new and they look like they're marked oh my goodness I should look at these things before I put them up yeah they're marked 925 I don't know I'm not going to test them you're getting them for a dollar, so and they're beautiful. We have these pretty silver ones, I mean gold ones. Very different shapes here. Goes on that side. And that goes on those side. They are. Just this part that drops is one and three quarters. This one is two inches. We'll do those for a dollar. This is brushed. This is polished. See if you can see that. Here's the other one. They haven't been cleaned up. And here's these. Okay. Whew. This has been quite a journey. We have these silver ones with the little rhinestones. And I'm going to do these little pearl gold tone. They are um, screwbacks. Vintage. Very pretty. We'll do those for a dollar. I've decided what I don't sell, I'm putting it building a jar with and I'm going to put them in my yard sale. So I'm going to have a yard sale this autumn. My daughter-in-law has volunteered to help me. So, Wow, those are pretty greens. They look like cat's eye and they're fasted. Yeah, they're cat's eye. But they're fasted. And then you have these little chips. Where's my black light? Let's see if anything glows. No, I don't think so. These feel like um, sea glass to me. And they're green. They're very pretty color. So we'll do those two for a dollar. And then we have one more pair, and that's going to be it for this video. For this Saturday Dollar Day sale. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to know when we're going to have another one. And share it with your friends. I'm sure they would like to get some jewelry bargains. These are lever backs. 
they have a black um, shadowing in here, you know, to give it dimension. Let's see if I can see. Now you can see that. And then these are pretty too. I don't think they're signed. Gold tone, and, I mean, silver tone with the gold tone caged bead there. So we'll do those two for a dollar. And that's going to be it for today until another Saturday. And uh, I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Stay blessed. And we'll see you guys soon. I still have a bit more from that Jewelry Jar 224 to show. And then we'll be done and we'll start something new. And it may be a blue box or it may be a jar. I'm not sure yet. Or it could be a shop goodwill buy. I don't know. But we'll see you guys soon. Have a blessed day. And um, be sure and subscribe to the video. And hit that notification bell if you want to see when these come up again. And also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Send me that email with your name, your full name, your YouTube name, and your shipping address. That's for invoicing purposes. I invoice on the first for the prior month's orders. So that gives you all much to look and decide, you know, claim your items and then we'll invoice and once you pay, we'll ship it out. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye now.